When James Mason won the 2002 NFL Golf Classic on the Champions Tour, it was the culmination of a life spent playing and enjoying golf. I think he knows the championships is. There's one more shot out there. You know, I saw the scoreboard. I see my name up there, but I, I didn't really realize it. And, uh, you know, I was just playing golf and doing what, what, what I knew how to do. It was a godsend, and it, it, it certainly changed my life. Because then, uh, you know, and it springboarded me into playing on the Champions Tour for ten solid years. Mason competed in almost 200 Champions Tour events and had over three million dollars in career earnings. Before his Champions Tour breakthrough, he was very well known by many golfers in the Georgia PGA section and throughout the Southeast. He won the Georgia PGA Player of the Year in '97, '98, and 2000. Georgia PGA champion in 97, 99, and 2000, and competed in the 1997 PGA Championship at Wingfoot. Ooh, but he was a guy that everybody in Georgia knew the kind of player he was. Probably no one outside of Georgia did. And then, then when he up and wins the, the, the Cadillac Classic as a Monday qualifier, my comment was, well, I guess now everybody knows. At the Mason's Mountainside home at Sky Valley in the North Georgia Mountains, evidence of Mason's golfing success is present throughout the home. Along with photos of his sons Chris and Steve and wife Susie, there are golf photos on the refrigerator, mementos in his office, trophies on display, and even memorable images on drink coasters. There's definitely a feeling of well-deserved pride which is shared by his wife Susie. And somebody told me when he won that first tournament, he says, you're going to have to find you a passion. But for 40 years, he's been my love, my life, and my passion. And it went real fast. Mason's 10 cup type of golf story started in Duluth, Georgia, where he learned to play at Berkeley Hills, receiving lessons from Luke Barnes. He walked on the golf team at Auburn and won four letters. In 1972, he won the Atlanta Amateur, and qualified for the U.S. Amateur in 73. Then he turned pro, but. I just, I needed to go to work. I, you know, had to make, you gotta, you gotta do, you know, sooner or later you gotta grow up. Uh, you know, if you weren't on the golf tour back then, you couldn't make a living. So Mason took a job at Sky Valley, working as a golf pro, food and beverage manager, and general manager. He also worked at Druid Hills and Greystone, and then he taught golf at his brother-in-law's range, which gave him time to practice. I started teaching and started playing and then I started winning. Um, it's amazing what you do when you when you do it all day long. You know, I'd teach a few lessons and then I'd hit balls. Well, Alan Doyle was the one that told him, you know, if you're going to try to make it, you got to get somewhere where you can just play golf every day, compete in as much events as you can. So he was playing in a few mini tour events then also. Everything he could play in to try to compete. He worked harder than anybody else at the game, and, and that's why he's as good as he is. Mason's persistence paid off, and his NFL Classic win was just his eighth Champions Tour event. That win, and his time on the tour, was a dream come true. I still don't realize what I've done. I still don't realize, you know, why I'm here. Uh, it's, it's uh, you know, I've got to pinch myself. Uh, it's it's a quite an honor. Mason says he's enjoyed so much about golf like the time he was paired with his hero, Arnold Palmer, and Mason shot a 64. And ended up getting to play with him three or four years ago. I mean, three or four times. I did not get to play with Nichols. I did get to play with Watson a good number of times. And uh, it's, it was, you know, it's you know, something that you dream of. I mean, you sit there and you grow up watching them on TV and, and then all of a sudden you get to play with them. We've gone to many, many wonderful places. I've had lovely, great wives. Uh, we've had a good time. There. there you go. Today, Mason teaches at the Orchard in Clarksville, Georgia. We got 11. He also finds time to have a game with members. And he also always finds time to improve his game under the watchful eyes of golf professional Randy Brooks. This, this place and Sky Valley has, has made you what you are, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Why? Why? Uh, because they've allowed me to do what I want to do, or allowed me to do what I do. You see, Mason still competes, still wins, like the 2015 Georgia PGA Championship, 
and he continues to work on his game every day. You know, when you're doing something you love, then it's then it's 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 not as much work. I mean, it's as as I've said out there on the tour, it's a hard way to make an easy living. Thank you.